starting with the colored side up, you're going to fold the diagonals. We're going to be making a square base. So first, in half, with the colored side up, this one, not this one. This is some thick paper that I colored with some markers and I put alcohol on it and made that cool effect. You still see some of the lines, but I think it looks pretty cool still. Maybe next time it'll work better. So fold both diagonals. I think you can tell that this is thick paper. And it kind of squeaks because it's glossy. See that? Okay, now let's turn the paper over on the white side and fold in half in both directions. I think this will be handy now. Now, this way. There we go, unfold. Now we're going to make a square base. So we're gonna fold in half like this. Open this pocket and make that valley fold. It, it's the diagonal. Then it'll stand up like this, make this mountain fold too, and this valley. I hope the colored paper doesn't make it too hard. Then we're going to take this little point and bring it down to this point. Make them touch. Make the crease right there. Valley fold here. Mountain fold there, which is the same crease I'm talking about. And then flat. That was a pretty, pretty uh, slow way to make make the square base because I wanted to explain it. Because since this is such an easy model, there could be some beginners that are that might not even know what a square base is. So now, if you can see, there's the diagonal there. What we're gonna do is fold this edge to that diagonal. this. There we go. Now I'm folding two layers and it's super thick. So this thing really helps. Unfold and repeat on this side. Make sure you're folding precisely to that diagonal. It's a valley fold just in case you're wondering. Well you can probably see it already on your paper. Now unfold, what we're going to do is turn over and repeat on this side. Make sure that the open side is down. There we go. Unfold. Now this side. Face it. Now unfold. Now, if you didn't know by now, we're making a bird base. So just inside reverse fold these two flaps. So what we're gonna do, now this is the beginner part, is make a mountain fold here, but only through one layer. So on this layer, we're going to make a mountain fold on the colored side. So just reverse the fold that you just made and make it a valley. I mean a mountain. It was a valley, 
now you see it's a mountain. And then if you look like this, you'll see there's a valley there. That that crease should stay the same. So now we're just going to fold this inside along with this. Hopefully you understood that. I remember when the crane was really hard for me. So now inside of verse fold this. It's just the same step again. So if you don't remember, go back. Okay, now repeat on this side. This plane made it take a while. Not too long though. Now it looks like this. What I'm going to do now is fold this flap up. Make another sharp crease. It's looking really nice. Turn over and fold this. I don't need to explain this step because it's too easy. Now what we're going to do is look at it from the top. You'll see that there's these layers here. Stick your hands in and grab both of these layers. One here and one, one at the top flap and one at the bottom flap. And make bend it to make like an X shape. And then you're going to make a valley fold right there. And a valley fold there. So it should look like this. And flatten pretty sharply. Now we're going to fold this flap up just like we did before. And um, this is where things will start to get 3D. I mean, not flat, you know. You see how everything's flat right now? What we're going to do is spread it out and make an X again. Just like last time. And then, what we're going to do, well, I guess it doesn't get 3D yet. But we're going to take this flap here and make an inside reverse fold. And I don't know if I can explain this so much, but what we're going to do is make this into a mountain fold. A valley fold. Yeah, a valley fold. Like this. And try to close that again. And it'll kind of come naturally. Close it until this aligns with that edge. Try your best to do it. I hope you understood that. But, oh well. Maybe you can comment or something. If you did, I mean, if you were able to do it, but that's a pretty easy step. There we go. Now I'll repeat on this side. I'm not going to show it again. I mean, explain it again. So crease it. I wonder if you can hear all the squeaks that I hear. Now things, well, not now either. What we're going to do is spread out the layers again, unfolding these, and then repeat on this side. Repeat what we just did. Like this. There we go. And this one.
there. Now, what we're going to do is make some more inside reverse folds. So, this is going to get really thick now. What we're going to do is open this layer a bit and fold this edge to this edge. And this edge to this edge. So, making a valley fold. Like that. So that's this part. Crease it all the way up to there. And then this part to there. Hopefully you understood that. If you're a beginner, or maybe I'm overestimating how can how hard this is. But this is probably my easiest design anyway. So I'll repeat on this side now. The exact same thing. Inside reverse fold. really sharply. Now we got this. Repeat on this side. And the side. Crease with my tool just to make sure it's extra sharp. There we go. Now we're going to unfold back to where it looks like this. I'm going to make the X again like that and then fold these back how they were and repeat what you just did to these flaps so reverse fold reverse fold number five actually not number five You might be able to see how this star is coming together. I'm gonna crease here now. And there. There we go. And here. I could fold this model much faster. But the big paper and the explaining and I'm trying to make it really precise and look nice. Since I'm using this really pretty paper. Now here. One last part. And done. Now what we're going to do is open it up. Don't unfold those flaps, but fold these back. So here's where it gets 3D. And fold it all back. 
like this. And turn it over, and it's done. I personally like this side better, but it's up to you. You might like this side better. And I guess, see if it spins. There's a little point right there. Maybe if you get it to spin fast enough somehow, it'll balance. Or maybe I can put a stick. I could stick it in there and... Oh, that's pretty good. And then, like, twist it. I have one right here. It's not origami, though, because I had to use a lot of glue. But it's pretty cool. Looks like this. It's just a paper stick. Or a Q-tip, or I don't remember. That... I glued a bunch of rolled up paper onto and made this cool top. That's pretty self-explanatory. You could probably just figure out like that, but I don't think I'll make a tutorial for that. So this is pretty cool. I think I like it. Uh, I made some other ones. This was with some glittery red paper. It's a lot thinner and a bit smaller. But this one actually, I think the thicker paper worked better. So that's all. You could sink that or something to make it lie flat, but I'm gonna leave it. So I hope you enjoyed folding that, and I'll see you all in the next video. Comment below if you liked it. Um, if you have any comments and like thumbs up button and uh, maybe subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.